we are going to practice writing sentences today. So we're going to think about writing a sentence today. Our sentence is going to be about a noun. Remember, a noun is a person, animal, place, or thing. So you can think about a noun, and that's going to kind of be in our sentence. It could be the subject of our sentence. That can mean it could be what the sentence is about, or it could just be in there. So we're really looking for you to think about a noun. Now, it's fun to think about things that we really like. I really like watermelon, and that's a thing. Or I really like alpacas. That's an animal. But those things are kind of long and hard to spell. So if I want to write this sentence all by myself, I'm going to try to think of a word I know I can sound out and write. Um, and we're going to start learning a little bit about spelling words phonetically. That means hearing the sounds and writing the letters. Um, so we're not looking for a perfect sentence. We're just looking for you to try your best. But we are looking for you to show that you know what a noun is. You know a noun is a person, animal, place, or thing. Another thing that we want you to work on is having a sentence frame. And our sentence frame, it starts with a capital letter and it ends with a, a stop sign. You are right. A stop sign, the one that we've been working on, is a period, a little dot at the end. That's called punctuation. So we'll get into exclamation points and question marks, but for now we can just use a period. So if I'm going to write a sentence, um, I'm going to think about what words I know. I know some of my sight words. I know I can sound out some words. We've, wrote a, we've been writing a lot of I am sentences. Um, so for example, you could write I am a cat. So I know how to spell those words. So I could write I, start with a capital letter always, remember? So I, and you, you want to leave some space in between your words. If I write, I am a cat, all smushed together, then the reader won't know which one is different words. So you can put one finger or two fingers to give you some space. So there's my space. I'm going to write am, a, m, am, I am. Um, and I didn't love my m, so I'm going to try again. That's called editing. Editing is when you make changes to your writing. And I'm going to try again, lay it down up and around, up and around, that's better. So I am space and then A. I am A. I ran out of room. When you run out of room, you wanna do something called the return sweep. And that means you go to the next line and you move all the way to the beginning. So we, just like when we're reading, we go like this, then we jump down and we go to the next line like this. When you're writing, when you run out of room, go down, but beep, go to the beginning. So I wanna write cat. How can I spell cat? I'm going to listen for the sounds in the word cat. I can stretch it out and go k, cat, cat. I hear some sounds in there. So I heard k, and I know k is a C. I'm going to write s, a, a, I know that sound. C, A, and then t, cat, ends with a T. Am I done? Almost. I just need to add my stop sign. Don't forget your stop sign. Boop. There it is. I am a cat. Let's check. Do we have a noun? Yes, we do. Cat. That's an animal. Is the first letter capitalized? Check. Do we have a period? Check. If something wasn't there and we checked it and we changed it, that would be really smart. That's called editing and proofreading. When I write something, for my class, um, I have to proofread it. That means I have to read all the words that I wrote and make sure I didn't spell anything silly and change it. So that's one example of a sentence that I wrote. You can write it too. Let's try, let's try another sentence. Um, let's try a thing for a noun. We'll choose a thing. Let's write the word mat. Like I have a yoga mat or a mat to sit on. Um, and I would love to write, I have a big green yoga mat. And those are, that's a really good sentence, but for now, we're going to keep it simple. So I'm just going to write, I have a mat. So, um, what do you think? I need to start my sentence with a capital letter. Start up here. Here's my capital I. I have, we just learned that word today, H-A-V-E. 
Now maybe you didn't, maybe you don't remember that it starts, that it ends with a V. If you wrote like this, me and Mrs. Batterini would be able to understand that you're trying to say have, and that's okay. Um, if you do know it has an E, of course put it on there, but what I'm trying to tell you is that it's okay if you try your best to sound out the words or if it's not perfect. We're just here to learn and practice. So I have A. If I put an A right here, now people don't know that that's two words, so it says I have ya. So I need to make sure, I'm going to edit it, oops, that's too close, I need to make sure that I leave some space, A. And now I'm getting, oh, I ran out of room, where do I go? Return sweep, return sweep, nice job. So I wanna write mat. I think I know the sounds in that word, listen. Mmm, M, you got it, M, A, ma, A, T, mat, ends with T, there's our T. There's my sentence, how does it look? Ooh, I forgot something. What did I forget? You got it, the stop sign. So I'm gonna put a period at the end. So now if I touch and read my sentence says, I have a mat. So those are some examples of our sentences. So we've been working really hard on them. So you don't always have to start with I. You could say, um, like, she is, oh, let's try that one. Actually, I had a good idea. I got excited. Okay, let's try writing, let's try writing a sentence about a person. Um, you could write, I mean, you could even write a sentence about yourself. Um, but, like you could write, I mean, I guess when you write a sentence about yourself, you say I. But if you knew someone else's name, if you knew how to spell their name, then you could write it about them. But I'm going to use the word he. And he kind of stands in for somebody. So if I know someone named Tim, but I don't want to say his whole name, I could just say he. So when you spell he, it's H-E. Does that look okay for the beginning of my sentence? No, I need to make sure that the first letter is a capital. So I'm gonna edit that. First letter is always a capital. So H, capital, uppercase H, that's better, H-E. He, I want to say is. Is has a tricky wicky S. It doesn't sound like, and that usually S, it's got kind of a Z sound. He is. He is. So I S. It's not is, it's is. So it's kind of a tricky word. That's why it's one of our sight words. We got to see it and know it. And I'm going to write he is little. So I'm going to spell L I T T L E. He is little. So that's another sentence. That one is about a person. So we've done, we did an animal. Did we do an animal? Yeah, cat. We did a thing, the mat. We did a person, he. Um, let's do a place. So let's try that. Let's do a place. Let's write about the zoo. So I want to write the zoo is fun. So let me try that. The does that look okay? I forgot the capital letter. I have to start with a capital letter. Let me try again. Edit it, that means fix it. That's okay, we're just learning. T, capital T, H, E. The zoo is fun. How does that look? Can you read that? No, I forgot to put spaces. Whoops, let me try again. So I need to make sure I have a space and then I can write Z-O-O, -O. that's how you spell zoo. Hear the sound? Zoo. The zoo, and I want to write is. Is has a tricky wiki S. I, and then S. The zoo is, I'm going to write fun. Can I write it over here? Can I write it on top? Nope, I got to do the return sweep. Right back to the beginning over here. Fun. I'm going to sound out. Fun. I heard F. That's F. F. fun. Am I done? Nope, I forgot the period. Boop! There it is. The zoo is fun. Let's check my work. Let's proofread it. The zoo is fun. Okay, do I have a noun? I do. I have a place, the zoo. Did I start with a capital letter? 
Check, I got it. Did I end with a stop sign? Check, we did it. Excellent work, everybody. So this Wednesday, we're gonna have a little assessment. That's kind of a word for a test. And it's not to see that you can write a perfect sentence. It's just to see that you're trying and you're learning. We wanna know that you know what a noun is. A person, animal, place, or thing. Remember our mustache. Um, <laughs> and we also want to make sure that you're trying really hard to remember to start with an uppercase and end with a stop sign. Uppercase, stop sign, start with the uppercase, go to a stop sign. Excellent work. So thank you so much for practicing with me today. Keep practicing sentences. Sentences are so important. We read sentences and when we write them down, people can read our work. And that's super, super important to us. As writers, we need people to be able to read our thoughts, hear our thoughts. So keep practicing. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.